Is this a familiar sight when playing the finals as a light character? Well then let me tell you something. You're playing lights wrong. I'll do a quick overview of lights to explain the correct way to play them. And then stay tuned for the end where I'll give you the most important piece of advice anyone can tell you about this game. This beautiful and by far my favorite class has a huge weakness. They are squishy. <laughs> lights have the lowest amount of HP of any of the three classes with it being only at 150 HP compared to the mediums and heavies which have 250 and 350 HP respectively. But like all classes, their strength lies elsewhere. Lights have the fastest movement speed, able to leave all your teammates behind, so you can- So I can quickly engage another team all by myself? Wait, no! Yeah, you really shouldn't be doing that. Lights have the fastest movement speed, along with specializations that will help you slip in and out of battle, reposition yourself, and catch others off guard. See, lights are kind of like that annoying fly that is always buzzing around in your ear, but when you look to go smack it, it's gone. That is not to say that they are only an annoyance. Their specializations and weapons when used to the fullest can be quite deadly and an asset to your team. So let's go over some of their capabilities, starting with specializations. So, like all classes, lights have three unique specializations, except with lights, they focus primarily on movement and positioning. We'll start with the grappling hook for now, which is honestly my favorite, but many would consider the weakest. So this is the grappling hook. It's pretty straightforward. It's a hook you grapple with, can swing from place to place, and get into high places. Once you use it once, you see that it does go on a cooldown, which is my biggest complaint about it, because I just want to swing twice. I want to feel like Spider-Man, and it's so close, but it won't let me swing twice. But besides that, grappling hooks are great for getting into high places or honestly even using as a pseudo dash. If I'm under fire, I can use this, cancel out, get out of here, bam. Look at how much distance I was able to cover using hook as a pseudo dash with the jump pad, luckily positioning there. But it just goes to show what kind of unique situations you can create with a grappling hook. Now for me, grappling hook is the most fun. It is why it is my favorite, but... If you are someone who pays attention to the meta, you may not see this very or use this very much. Honestly, we don't pay attention to meta here. Let's just let's just ignore that. Next up, we have the evasive dash. It's a it's a it's a dash. You, boom, boom, boom. you do three dashes. It is nice in the sense that you do get three dashes. So unlike the grappling hook where you can only use it once and then it has a brief cooldown, the dash you can do up to three times before you need to wait for the cooldown. It does charge each one individually, so once the cooldown is up, you get one charge back, not multiple. It can be really nice for getting out of sticky situations. For example, I'll show you here in the practicing range. See, now I'm taking fire. I don't know what to do. I'm trying. I'm missing. Dash out of here. Dash a zigzag out of the way. Bam. I'm honestly not too great with this, and even in the practice range, you can kind of see that a little bit. But it can be nice to get out of the way of um, lines of fire as well as also cover large distances. For example, I need to get from here to here. I'm not going to make that in a jump. So I jump and then dash a few times. Bam, made it that far. Dash isn't my favorite, but it has really good uses. And then lastly, we have invisibility or the cloaking device. It turns you invisible. That's it. It doesn't give you any like special movement, so you can't go further or you run faster. You're just invisible, but that's not a bad thing. In fact, this is one that you see a lot of lights use to get into position for a nice quick backstab. It can be invisible for up to 12 seconds, then it starts um, charging back up again. You don't have to do the full 12 seconds once you're going into it. You can cloak for a minute or a few seconds, cloak back out of it, cloak back in. However, every time you attack or you receive damage, you come out of invisibility. This one seems to be a lot of lights favorites ability for a good reason. It is very difficult to see you while you're invisible. When you are moving though, you do go into predator mode so you can kind of see my hands down there as we run. You see like the light distortion around them. But when you are standing still, you are completely invisible and nobody can see you. Like I said, this is one a lot of light mains like to use for good reason. This is also one that tends to ignore a lot of the other class mains as well. 
Uh, we'll take a quick look at the weapons. We're not going to spend too much time on them. I just kind of want to show them off real quick. You have your pew pews that are great for close to mid range, which is the XP 50, which is honestly the one I like to use the most because of the sight down here. Then you have the pistol, which is another really fun one to use. Good, decent damage for up close. You can rapid fire as well. It has decent hip fire, so it's a nice one to use. You also have the 93R, which is the new one that was added to Season 2. Not my favorite. You don't see this one too often. Not a big fan of this one. Um, I personally, I don't see why you just wouldn't use the pistol, but it's opinion. If you like it, you like it. Uh, then you have the LH1, which is also a really good one. One I started to use more recently. It does pretty good damage from distance and up close. Uh, but it is a slower rate of fire. Then you have the M11, which is the fastest of the weapons. It does major damage, but pretty inaccurate from far. However, up close, they can take out an enemy very quickly. So this is honestly, this is the weapon you start with when you first get a light. And it's really good. It's a really good weapon. Just not my personal favorite to use. Then you have the up close weapons like the shotgun or the sawed off shotgun, I should say. A little more difficult to use than you might think, but does great damage. Two shots of medium, pretty well. I think three shots a heavy and can one shot a light. Next, you have the melee weapons, which is the dagger. I have the pencil one because I'm going for a near thing here. Really difficult to use, but does great damage if you can get a backstab. Uh, but with everyone moving, it can be a little bit difficult. This is where things like invisibility or evasive dash might be a little better to use in a dagger. Same thing with the sword. Nothing is scarier than a sword mate. I have been killed without a chance to survive by sword mains. They are cracked. Especially ones that use dash because they do a charge up dash into you and bam, stab you. So you don't realize the amount of distance they can cover with that. Then la lastly, we have the throwing knives. Um, good mid to close range weapon. I like these. These are my favorite, but they are a little bit difficult to use. I think the, the most fun though. And then lastly, we have the sniper. We don't talk about this dirty sniper. Then we talk about gadgets. We're not going to go too much into gadgets, but I will talk about some of the more unique ones. The first one and my new favorite is actually the tracking dart fan. Now I can see them. It gives you wall hacks on an individual for a pretty decent amount of time, honestly. Um, it's a lot of fun. This used to be in the mediums, but with season two, they moved it down to the lights. And I'm honestly pretty happy with that. Next, we have the another fan favorite, the gateway grenades. Creates two portals that you can teleport to. It keeps your momentum. You have to be a little careful because enemies can also use them too. With that said, you can even use these to transport items like the vault so it's great for getting out of sticky situations if you plan ahead of time as well as transport items as well we also have the sonar grenades another one i like to use quite a lot it gives you wall hacks within a certain distance so you can see there we can see the enemy but once they leave that circle you can no longer see them I like using them. This is a great one to use for your team so they can be aware of enemies in a situation. Or if you need to go down to revive something, you can use those to see if the area is safe. Then we also have the breach charge. Creates a nice explosive. Not one I use very often anymore, but still has great uses. You can even put it on, say if this was a cash out. All right, say if we had a cash out right here and an enemy was coming towards the cash out. I can use this. Say if that was a cash out and an enemy was coming towards the cash out, I can use this to do some damage, get them away from it. It's real nice. I believe the heavies have something similar with C4, but lights have this and it's pretty decent to use with a fairly decent recharge rate. Then we also have the stun gun. This is one that's causing a lot of discourse around uh, places already because once you stun somebody, they are unable to move. For a little bit, they are unable to use any of the gadgets or specializations. So for many, it is a guaranteed kill. Unless you're mean, don't know how to aim, then it's pretty useless. It also stops action, so you can stop someone from reviving another player or stop them from stealing a cash out. Then we have two more, the Vanish Bomb and Thermal 
Vision Vanish Bomb is pretty useful in teams as it will make your teammate invisible as well. So if they are around, geez, they were really have to If they are around, they would turn invisible too. Nothing is scarier than an invisible heavy. That is terrifying. And then you have Thermal Vision where you can see through smoke, you can see invisible players. Um, and it makes things a little just easier to see as well. Not one that's used very often, but honestly, I think it's pretty decent if you have a good setup. The rest are just your typical grenades. You have the glitch grenade, which actually is pretty good. Um, it stops people from using electronics. If an electronic is already deployed, it stops people from triggering them like the turrets or the mines. Then you have flash bang, grenade, gas grenade, goo grenade, underrated, power grenade, and smoke grenade. Now I'm sure you're asking, Daxius, this is cool and all, but how should I play light? Use your movement. Lights are at their best when they are moving around, and in my opinion, they're most fun as well. Use it to your advantage. Get behind those enemies, take them out, then get out. Grab those fallen teammates and revive them, distract the enemy, help teammates dealing with shields, grab those bolts and run, just don't run into three enemies thinking you can win. Lights are great for catching your opponent's off guard, or even chase down opponents to finish them off to get that team wipe. Never let them know where exactly you are and make them panic. Also, focus on the objective. Lights are great for completing the objective. This game isn't all about taking out enemies, it is about the objective. Collect those coins or get those vaults. There is more to this game than just killing. In the end, really just use your movement to your advantage. And remember, you are squishy, you are soft, you have the lowest amount of HP of any class in this game, which means you cannot take a lot of hits. For this reason, a lot of people say lights are actually the hardest to use well. And I would agree with that to an extent. I think they're the most fun, but to get good at them, they are a little difficult than mediums or heavies where you can take a few more hits. Lights can be really hard to deal with when you are constantly moving around. Now, for the final piece of advice that I mentioned at the beginning, the most important thing I can tell you from this whole video if you take anything away take this away do whatever is fun for you if jumping head first into battle is your way to have fun then do it don't let anyone tell you you're playing a certain way is wrong do what you want to do if you want to jump in go ahead just be prepared to die a lot <laughs> this was the greatest performance i've ever done uh I don't really have an outro yet so thanks for watching uh i stream sometimes and until next time goodbye